Welcome back friends. We are back with yet another interesting activity in our pursuit of learning Python. This particular activity is called shopping cart. And what makes this very interesting is that this is in fact very close to something that we do in our daily lives, which is online shopping. Now, this is something we've got so used to that we go to say online stores, uh, we pick up items, we add them to a shopping cart, we proceed to checkout, and then we basically make the payment and we have the shopping completed. Now, what we are going to build here is something similar. Obviously, it's a toned down version of what happens in reality, but nonetheless, an online store. So we are going to build like a program, a Python program, which will allow us to do some kind of shopping, calculate the bill for us. And later on the second part, we will also include discounts into this. So let me first show you how this thing will work. Uh, for this purpose, we are going to have an imaginary bakery. So I say, welcome to the Ybyte Bakery. I have all these items available in this. So there are five things that are available for this given price. So what I can do is that, let's say I, can, I want to select, say a milkshake, I can say click one, and it will ask me how many units do I want to purchase. So say you select a milkshake, how many units do you want to purchase? I can say maybe five. Uh, next, say I want to create a check, uh, so you know, to purchase say eclairs, so I can say four, and then maybe I want to, put, so you know, say uh, three units. So it says adding three units of eclairs to the shopping cart. Previously said adding five units of milkshake to the shopping cart. And now when I'm done with my shopping, I can click six. And with that, my shopping cart is displayed. So I purchased three, you know, five units of milkshake, three units of eclairs. The unit prices were such, which means one unit cost this much. Hence, the total for milkshake was this, total for eclairs was this, and the grand total of this was some of these two. So this is what we are going to do. This is, you can, as you can see very clearly, this is much like, uh, you know, um, let's say an online store minus all the graphics because, you know, we do not have an interface where you can visually pick up things. But nonetheless, I think this gives us a fair idea of what really goes on in there. So the learning objectives from this class would be, number one, we are going to spend a lot of time working with lists. Now, we have seen lists before. In fact, we have covered lists extensively in the Scratch program. Lists are basically big brothers of variables. Lists are variables connected to each other uh, in, a, in a single data structure, and we can index each of those elements, each of those variables individually. We are also going to look at this loop called the while loop, which is also an important loop in Python. Using while loop, we can get stuff to repeat just like in a for loop. But the difference is that here we can get it to repeat for any number of times until a certain condition becomes false. So this is much like, uh, uh, you know, repeat until in scratch. Uh, we'll talk about this in detail. Also through this activity, we'll come face to face with the different data types in Python, say string, floats, integers. Uh, we'll see how we can work with them, how we can change between, uh, you know, interchange these data types and so on. So in all, there's going to be a lot of learning in this activity, a lot of, uh, you know, practice of Python programming and also a lot of scope to expand this in multiple directions, right? So one, we are going to develop this in a step-by-step -step manner, uh, you know, looking at every step in there in detail. So please look through all the videos, uh, you know, maybe do your project along with that. Um, and, you know, that will give you a very good idea of what this activity is all about. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.